lovelies my name is no same day you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a new subscriber here yeah, thank you for subscribing to this channel i even bigger thank you to my returning subscribers thank you for your consistency thank you for the engagement i do not take all of this for granted trust me i got a lot of questions regarding the new NCLEX rn examination quite a number of people wanted to know more about this exam what changed what's different um what sort of materials do i recommend for them in order to prepare adequately for this examination therefore in this video i will discuss all you need to know about the new nclex hiring examination the good and the bad news i also get to share with you the materials the right materials for you to use in order to prepare adequately to take this exam before you take this exam it is vital to be aware of what's changed what's different about this examination as well as the right study materials to use in your preparation while i was preparing to take the nclex hiring i also had a colleague that was preparing for the same examination and sometimes around last week a couple of weeks ago she sat for the new generation nclex hiring and passed at 85 and she was able to give me a briefing about what this examination looks like and what people should look out for during our discussion i discovered that when i sat for the nclex rn i actually took the new nclex examination in form of survey questions and when i saw those questions i was like Anyway, I was literally praying that God, I beg, let me not get this, <laughs> let me not fail this examination so I don't get to come back and take this exam. This is not to scare you, this was just how I felt, and I believe that this was owing to the fact that I prepared for the old one, not the new one. So it was all a shock to me. <laughs> Based on the knowledge from taking the survey question the kind of questions i came across that were actually the new nclex rn examination and the information that were shared by my colleague when she took this examination i'm able to come up with answers to most of your questions <laughs> without wasting much of our time let's get right into the main details of this video so why exactly is the NCLEX? All I need you to know about this examination is that you need to sit this exam in order to register with the State Board of Nursing, either in United States or Canada as a registered nurse. This will enable you to practice in this countries this is all you need to know the full meaning of this examination is national council licensure examination there are two types we have the register the nclex rn and we have the nclex pn for registered nurses the examination you need to register for is nclex r hen not pn pn is for practical nurses okay why rn is for registered nurses please do not make this mistake this examination is testing your clinical judgment which is largely dependent on your critical thinking abilities with the old hand clicks, you have a minimum of 75 questions and a maximum of 145 if you get 75 that means you have 70 scored and 15 unscored if you get 145 you have 130 scored and 15 unscored whereas with a new nclex rn you have a minimum of 85 and a maximum of 150 and of course 15 out of these ones are unscored now like i said earlier or in my previous video the nclex rn is a computer adaptive test this examination the computer adapts to your knowledge it adapts to your abilities it adapts to your strengths and your weaknesses and based on this the computer continues to give you questions that are on your difficult that are on your level okay the more you go into the exam the more difficult the questions are likely to become and 
and what I, from and from my own knowledge if your questions are becoming tougher or becoming more difficult it's actually good news for you once the computer has determined that you have reached the acceptable confidence level it's going to shut off and this is the major reason why some people will get 85 and some will get 150 or in the old one some people will get 75 and some will get 145 now if you're taking your examination starting from 1st of april of course we are in april of course we are even towards the end of april you are taking the new nclex rn examination and this video is actually critical for you to pay attention to on the hand class there are different types of questions okay and it's composed primarily of multiple choice questions for which are four option based questions you have test based questions written at the application and analysis level of difficulty that means if you are getting application analysis questions you are doing well because those are the really tough that's them putting that patient that that mean they have trusted you and so they are putting you in charge of that patient's care they're like this is a patient we're giving you a scenario this is a patient right in front of you what is wrong with this patient and what do you need to do for this patient so that's a level of confidence that the computer has determined in you for him to give you i used him because men are difficult <laughs> For him to give you a patient to actually look after it means that he's got confidence in you okay and then we have the alternate format test questions which are the multiple response questions popularly called the SATA that's select all the apply type of question under this question type you have five or six answer options and you're required to select other apply so in Nigeria you'll be familiar with this one that's the one that we always say um, what's the option so a and b only a or b only. a b c only a b c d none of the above all of the above that's pretty similar to what a select the order apply question is so when the select the order apply it's either all the options are correct or only one is correct or maybe two is just correct the most important thing is for you to identify the correct one on the previous NCLEX on the old NCLEX if you select two correct answers and one incorrect you automatically get the whole question wrong no score at all okay now we also have the um hot spot questions so with the hot spot question you need to identify a spot you're giving a diagram or a graphic or a graph and you're required to click on the particular spot for instance maybe you are you are required to identify left lower quadrant or you are required to identify the McBurney's you know junction or the McBurney's point so you need to actually click in within that area to get that particular question type correct okay and you also have the fill in the blank question this usually is common with calculations so for those that are worried about calculation on the NCLEX you have a calculator so do not worry about the numbers so you are required to fill in the number so you calculate you make your calculation and you're required to fill in the number pay attention to the unit usually on the NCLEX the unit is already provided and all you need to input is the number you also have the drag and drop ordered response questions with the drag and drop in my exam i got hot spots i got um uh, hot spot question i got identify a graphic a diagram but i didn't get drag i got almost all the question types more about 39 of my questions were actually select or the apply that was on the hood NCLEX. however on the survey which was consisting more of the new generation NCLEX, i got different types of questions which we will soon get right into so you have the drag and drop or ordered response questions with this one you are required for instance maybe there is a um for instance like um the process of catheterization you can be provided with a list of order that you need to now arrange in the right order how you need to do it so it means that you need to drag it from the list of the options provided and arrange it according to how you need to carry out that procedure so this is what we call the drag and drop ordered type of questions we also had a chart and exhibit with some scenarios you'll be provided with charts and exhibit as a nursing chart the medical chart the prescription chart and this 
you need and you need to go through this chart or did they call them exhibit for you to actually answer the question correctly we also have the audio item questions with the audio item questions on the nclex you are provided with the headset it's important i mean you are advised to use the headset to get a better quality of the audio sound okay so you might be required to identify a sound maybe a wheeze or or a strider usually very 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 common with the respiratory system and then the graphic questions i told you i get the graphic questions so they might come in form of the ecg or you know the fetal heart rate uh maybe pulse you know pulse graph and all sorts of graphics that can come up on the NCLEX. This is basically the summary of the kind of questions that you get on the old NCLEX and it's also very important for me to note to you that not your old NCLEX has changed. Only a fraction of the new NCLEX RN has been introduced. So note that totally all your questions are every everything that is non that is you know that is unfamiliar to you. You're already familiar with some of them. Don't worry I'm going to share with you the list of materials for you to use I mean that will help you to pass this examination they were recommended by my colleague and they will help you to pass this examination with no stress at all on the new NCLEX RN what has changed what's different why in fact when I was going through when I was preparing my you know my material for this um, for this video I am like why do we even have the new NCLEX RN what is the point of all this so apparently the you know the senior nurses the researchers the <laughs> The curriculum builders, they carried out a research and it was discovered in the research that 50% of clinical errors were committed by novice nurses. This was linked to low level of critical judgment or low level of critical thinking abilities by the new graduates nurses and this is why and the board of nursing NCSBN has decided to you know adopt this new method of testing to increase the confidence in the new nurses all you need to know is that there are five new item types you also get partial credit now that's supposed to be a good news but there are three types of scoring on this new NCLEX hiring we have the plus or minus scoring we have the zero or one scoring and we have the all or nothing <laughs> scoring <laughs> with the plus or minus scoring the you are you are provided one point for a correct response and minus one for incorrect response which is something that me i call negative marking of course it's negative marking if you are familiar with jump you understand what negative marking is it means that if you get if you pick a wrong answer you will be marked down for an incorrect answer okay the best tip to use for this type of question is that you limit your guessing if you don't know it leave it alone if you are absolutely not sure leave it alone at least you don't get minus for that but if you pick the incorrect answer you get marked down minus one so at the end of them totaling your answers or your options or your responses you might end up with zero or you might even end up owing them uh-huh that is how negative marking work but it's really really key to note that this marking is only used on a select order apply kind of question zero or one scoring this one the test taker receives one point for correct response and zero for incorrect response so it's not that you are getting any minus you are not marked down but you get of course if you get it right you get your point if you get it wrong you get no point and then with the all or nothing scoring this one for you to actually get everything correct or everything wrong uh, that's similar to what you have on the previous select or order apply question so you need to either get all correct or you get nothing if you you know pick incorrect answers so it's, it's like the rational scoring type that if a is correct if you have said okay this is diagnosis then the rationale for that diagnosis must be correct for you to actually get that question type correct what are the new item types that we now have on the new generation NCLEX first we have the extended drag and drop and this one is pairing item from two columns picking correct options from two sides you need to pair them 
correctly we also have the drop down items the drop down items that i saw they were in form of case study and this is the same thing that my colleague shared with me according to her she got six questions so with each case study you have six questions okay so if you get three case studies so this drop down item is in form of case studies you're presented with a scenario and you're giving lots of chat to read up to make your conclusion to help you in selecting the right answer choices so you get you get with each case study you get six questions which implies that if you get three case studies three times six makes 18 if you get six case studies six times six makes 36 so that means you are getting 36 questions very possible that in your examination you actually get a maximum of you know three case studies okay and you have six questions under each case study next is the matrix grid items the matrix grid item this one provide a scenario of course with your client data and then you are required to make clinical judgment about the findings and then you check the appropriate boxes that matches you know the scenario the next one we have here is the enhanced odd spots oh my god when i got this question <laughs> I remember when I remember when I was taking the survey question, one of the you know the examiners I would say came in and said, because uh, I was stretching, I was tired, I was exhausted. I had seventy five questions, and at the end of seventy five questions, I felt like I have run like like several miles. <laughs> non-stop or i had been here on a 12 hour non-stop flight i'm like i was fatigued so when so i kept stretching when i was taking the survey which were of course the new generation nclex are in and one of the examiner came to meet me and said are you okay are you all right you can stop you don't have to take it but because i know that this taking this um survey will actually help me in sharing more contact with you guys i mean to be honest i had you in mind and that was the reason why I was taking that survey question. I had you guys in mind. And I'm like, I know I have to finish this. I have to see everything <laughs> on this survey. Okay, because it was going to give me a better idea into what to discuss with you about the new generation NCLEX. Not even knowing that that is actually, actually, definitely the new generation NCLEX type questions. So with the enhanced hotspot, this one actually kept me on a hotspot. <laughs> <laughs> it's enhanced because it's similar to the previous hotspot of course on the hotspot question that is on um the previous nclex rn that you need to identify a spot but this one the difference in this one is that you need to actually highlight so you're provided with a scenario and clients data and you need to highlight that the part of that scenario that matches the data that matches that is the correct one that matches your answer. And the highlight was like yellow that you need to highlight. It's just like highlighting a section when you're reading and then maybe you want to copy it somewhere. So that is the meaning of the highlight. So you're going to use your keyboard to actually, your mouse to actually highlight the part that is correct and matches your answer. Okay. Now we have the extended multiple choice question. And under this, we have the standalone items. We have bow tie and trend. This bow tie, I wanted to picture a bow tie, an actual bow tie, the one that, you know, the gents, they use. In the middle, you have a box and then you have one, two, want to okay that you other boxes that you need to fill so it's like a box in the middle having four other fingers okay <laughs> so you're provided with a scenario and a list of client data with uh, with um exhibit that is for in form of charts medical lab lab tests and all sorts of things to assist you in answering that question and then you need to read the scenario and based on your clinical judgment you're going to determine what diagnosis is this patient i mean what's this scenario what what can i diagnose this patient and what is the likely diagnosis maybe it's pulmonary embolism or it's um you know it's asthma what is it or tuberculosis what is it from reading the scenario what do you think the diagnosis is and then on the one side you need to provide you need to probably click based based on the kind of question you get you need to probably pick what diagnostic tool you will use to actually confirm what you think what you selected as your likely diagnosis which is the one in the middle box and then on the other side you need to select action plans so this one is probably the all or nothing scoring 
okay because if you think about it if you get a diagnosis wrong you automatically got in the action plan <laughs> wrong and you automatically got in you know the diagnostic tool wrong so this is the all or nothing kind of scoring these are the new item types that you now have on the new generation NCLEX. let's talk about what didn't change so we've talked about watching the new item type the scoring the numbers of you know questions let's talk about what did not change you still have the same five hours with the previous 10 clicks you have four hour 59 and something something that is literally that is basically you know five hours okay so with this new NCLEX RN you still have five hours they believe that candidates should still be able to use one minute on one question to be honest with you when i took this question i believe it's because i did not prepare for that question types you know i was prepared for the old class of course so i was spending more than one minute to <laughs> With the materials i recommend for you in preparing for this examination you will do just fine the time is still five hours you, it is still a computer adaptive test so the computer is still adapting to your level and will be giving you questions based on your level okay and also the you're still going to get a candidate's performance report so this report is like if you didn't do well in the examination you'll be provided with a report that gives an analysis of how you have been scored what you didn't do well and areas you need to improve on good so what materials am i recommending for you what materials do i recommend for you in preparing for this exam that will help you pass like my colleague my colleague i gave her all the materials i got and she also gave me some materials okay the first material is please 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 get the sunders i remember she when she was just me she said sister i only did you what about 30 to 35 percent i couldn't i didn't have time she only had about four weeks to actually prepare amazing she's filipino and from what i gathered their kind of exam when they went to school i mean yeah with their own curriculum their kind of exam is very similar to nclex already i think that's because it was the americans that colonized them <laughs> So they are already familiar with that. But if you are from Africa, if you are from Nigeria, for instance, please don't take chances. But I told her that she needs to really work on her content because she's finished nursing school for quite a while, a long time. So she told me she actually finished Saunders. So that is your number one content builder. Saunders Comprehensive Review 8th edition. That is what she used. 8th edition. And she finished it from front to the back second material she used of course i mentioned already is u word which u word now you can upgrade that is what is available now because the old class is gone you now have the new endless question types and the best thing about u word is that they also give you how each question type is scored you're not only getting rationales you're also getting um you know an idea of how that type of question is being scored so if you have not seen my previous video on the best study materials for the nclex 2023 please see that video it is basically the same materials that we use in preparing for this examination we were studying together so we use the same material the only difference is that she upgraded to the new nclex rn on our u word subscription okay that is the only difference a few tips for passing this exam with the plus or minus scoring questions that the select other apply question please limit your guessing limit guessing will kill your mark rapid guessing because some people they are sp sporadically guessing rapid guessing will kill your confidence level in the examination please don't guess recklessly remember that if you get one incorrect you are getting marked down okay you need to understand the examination understand it understand what is required of you and prepare for this examination with this knowledge you need to use active learning techniques this exam is so much it's not about you know cramming things or memorizing memorizing a lot of things might not really work for you in this new examination you need to actually know your stuff you need to know the content and you need to learn how to build your critical 
thinking abilities because you need it in this examination. It is very vital to your success in this examination. You need to be able to link concepts together and that is simply critical thinking. I hope that you found this video useful and if you've got any question for me, please drop it in the comment section. If you want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with me, please use the link on this video to book a session email nurse mj01 at gmail.com a lot of people drop comments commas are in my comment section pretending to be me pretending to be linked to me pretending to be my airplane please be careful of scammers i do not have a helpline i do not have a pa you have to speak with me directly. Please be very, very careful out there. Do not send money to someone you do not know. I wish you all the best in your examination. Take care. Bye.